What's up, YouTube? Good morning. Good morning. I'm not gonna shout it while I'm still. That's that would be dumb, right? <laughs> that would be dumb. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Hi, buddy. I see you over there. Hey guys, what's up? Motor Daco here. So. As you know, Betty's got heated grips on, and when I first got the bike, my son turned them on, totally drained the battery, and uh, it was because the previous owner had the grips wired directly to the battery. So I wanted to solve that uh, and decided to make a power distribution block so that I could have power on only when the key is turned on, and I could have a block of different terminals so I could add a bunch of other accessories other than just the heated grips. So anyways, I'm here in the backyard, and I wanted to show you a few things. Okay, so this is the wiring diagram right here. So basically it's it's pretty simple. Um, here's the battery and coming off the battery we're gonna have a positive going to a 20 amp fuse which is gonna go into one of the prongs on a uh, 30 amp relay. Um, then we're gonna have negative going to the terminal block and we're gonna have another negative coming off the relay to the terminal block and then we're gonna have to tap into like something that's on when you turn the key on so like the license plate light and we're gonna have a wire going into the relay this way so what the relay does is it accepts power but only feeds power through to whatever you're giving it to when this is opened let's check out what you need for this you are gonna need some wire black and some red 18 gauge wire you're gonna need some uh, quick connects, spade terminal ends, butt connectors. <laughs> okay, you're gonna need the relay. So the relay, this one is a 40 amp, 12 volt automotive relay. Female uh, disconnects, ring terminal ends, uh, 20 amp fuse. It glows when it blows. Inline fuse holders. Uh, and then you're gonna need your terminal block. This I had to actually go out to Mississauga. That's what the Mississauga vlog was about. Some wire strippers, an exacto for when the wire strippers don't work. A little multimeter. I use a nine volt battery just because nine volts isn't gonna kill me and I can check if I have uh, current going through all these things. I'm gonna attach some of these shits to this shits, put these things onto this stuff and then put that around that and then I'm gonna put the whole thing and take it over to Betty. I'm gonna jam it into Betty and then hopefully the whole bike won't blow up. All right guys, so I finished making all these connections together and it looks like a bit of a mess but it, it's really not it's it's really simple all right guys so uh betty's all apart her seats are on the ground everything's crazy but i got the power distribution block installed the only thing that i'm going to do next is try to waterproof this by using some hot glue A blue LED light there. Now this is the second one. Third one. And red. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little how-to on making a power distribution block. And uh, see you next time. Later.